All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be looking at how to create this CC flow motion transition in After Effects. So here I have my composition, which is 1920 by 1080. And I have my picture here and I'm gonna drag this in. It's a picture of a horse. And I will just make it a little bit smaller, right about there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here and look for the effect called CC flow motion and it's the flow without the W. Drag it on my clip. Now notice that I have these knots. So like one right here and then I have a second knot over here. What I'm gonna do since I want this horse to come in from the bottom is I will put this first knot over here. Notice how it changes up here as well when I move the knot down here. All right, and then I will go to about, say, two seconds, and I'll put a keyframe here on the amount for the first knot, and then I'm gonna go back to the beginning, and notice what happens when I adjust this amount up. Notice how it's starting to change, but it's going off in these different directions here. I don't want that. So what I have to do is I have to uncheck this tile edges, and now notice that it's just going in to that little bottom knot. So get them all the way in there, right there. And I have a second keyframe here now. Good. So if I play this back, he comes in like that. And we'll make him a little bit faster. So we will open this up and we'll make it about one second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go about 10 frames by pressing shift and page down. And I will put another keyframe right here at the same amount. And then I will go about one more second. So I'll make this two, two seconds and 10 frames. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my second knot right here. So this knot right here, and I'm gonna drag this guy up to the corner over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull him up like this. So I have this and I'll put a keyframe right here. And then we go back to right about there and we set it to zero. So we have this. Now if we play this through, we have this pretty cool uh, animation. So that is how you can work with the CC Flow Motion, and I hope that you will give it a try. And we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.